has been recruited to play quarterback for oh, the yeah. Oregon Ducks next season. This should be exciting. You're little, It'll be but good. you're tough. That's right. I'm very accurate. I can just only throw it like five yards. Well, if they need a weather Short forecaster, passes. you're going to be right She's on the, the button. Gal, because boy. i got to tell you, these last two weeks, Kristen, you oh have nailed gosh. it down to the hour. Yeah, at times. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it's been a very tough forecast with all the snow that came in and the gorge effect, mm -hmm. which is super tough to deal with because look at these temperatures. I'll show you. And you're going to see the difference. 36 degrees here in Portland. Southeast winds coming in at 15. And then look at what happens. You just go a few miles outside of Portland, and temperatures are in the low to mid 40s. Keep in mind, it's dark outside at one point. These temperatures were in the middle and even upper 40s. Some of us right around 50 degrees. Thanks to that shallow, very shallow cold layer of air funneling in from the gorge, uh, it was limited to just a small little area. And there, is where we have seen the slowest thaw out. Uh, meanwhile, you get out of there and the thaw out has been quite uh, quite a bit quicker. And so we're starting to see more ponding on the roads out in those areas and a lot less ice too. Again, 46 in Hillsboro right now. Heading back to the east, uh, Camas at 39, Battleground at 37. We're still sitting at 36 between Portland and Vancouver downtown, up to 40 now, uh, which should help things out. But still, uh, you're going to run into some icy stuff on some of the side roads and, of course, any of the ramps, too, once you get off the pretty clear highway roads. The exception being the gorge, and that is where the cold air, again, has been coming in, keeping us so chilly. And there, temperatures are still right at about 30 degrees between Hood River and, and going out towards uh, Carson there. So ice storm warnings continue until 4 a.m. A sheet of ice out that way. Most of the flood warnings have been dropped, so good news there. There's just one flood warning left in effect, and that is uh, south of Salem, and that goes through tomorrow evening. It'll crest Thursday morning at 28 feet, but flood stage 27 feet, so there will be some flooding, uh, but it should be just minor flooding. We'll be watching that closely. Temperatures in the mid-30s between Portland and Vancouver, 52 in Salem, upper 40s in McMinnville, 48 in Albany, and out towards the coast, temperatures there in the low 50s. And we had very strong winds at the coast uh, last night and this morning, but those winds are calming down. We're just get dealing with the last of this rain, uh, which is pretty much over the coast at this point, but it is going to be moving back into the metro area, which will keep us wet at times tonight. Temperatures will stay right around 37 and then eventually will be up to about 39 degrees. Uh, so we will see that gradual thaw out continue. Southeast winds at about 15 to 20. Here's a look at the satellite radar picture, and you can see the heavier showers trying to once again push back towards the Portland metro area. But for now, we're in the clear. But it does get pretty heavy out towards Hillsboro, Banks, uh, those locations. So all that's going to head east. So we had that window of dry time right now, uh, but it's going to be going away pretty quickly. As we continue through the rest of the night, showers continue. As we head towards 10, 30, 11, we're dodging a few showers here and there. And then as we go through the overnight hours, we start to switch over between about 3 and 5 a.m. to downpours. And that, this will mean pockets of very heavy rain and maybe even some thunder for some of us, especially out towards the coast. So tomorrow will be one of those days where you may see a peak or two of sunshine and then you're, you catch yourself in a downpour. Shower chances all day long, but temperatures doing better in the mid to upper 40s. 7 a.m. will likely have some showers around for the morning commute. Still probably some icy areas, so you'll want to be careful there. Going into the afternoon, a little lull early in the day. More showers for the afternoon, and then everything kind of quieting down tomorrow night before we get up for more rain Friday. So coastal forecast, upper 40s and low 50s. Showers at times, less wind though. Uh, for the valley, showers likely. It'll be warmer. It'll be melting. Uh, any of us seeing some of the ice, well, should see most of it melt tomorrow. Central and east, scattered rain and mountain snow. And then for the gorge, rain and freezing rain tonight, but back to plain rain tomorrow. Cascades get more snow. So it's looking good for the ski resorts. Seven day forecast, chilly again Friday, Saturday, low 40s. And then uh, it stays unsettled through the weekend. It'll be wet at times all weekend long, blustery too. But next week looks chilly and dry with maybe some sunshine by next Tuesday, Wednesday. And Jennifer, I was talking about more people coming out of hibernation today. Oh, you know, it's nice to see. So welcome so back, everybody. People, yeah. Welcome yeah, back. And we they're all like stuck on the roads now, yeah. too. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, we look forward to that sun next week, that's mm -hmm. for sure. We'll be right back, everybody.